Latinos account for more than 21 percent of California's voting population. The power of the Latino vote is not a new concept, but this year may be different. Last weekend, Univision hosted the first Spanish language debate for California's gubernatorial candidates. Plus, we're seeing some Republican candidates court the traditionally Democratic Latino community for support. KPBS Fronteras reporter Roxandra Guidi has been looking into this topic, and she joins me. Welcome to you, Roxana. Thanks, Gloria. Uh, every election in the last 10 years has made the case that the Latino vote is crucial. So why do we keep on saying it? What does it matter in San Diego? That's right. We keep on calling them the sleeping giant, and every new election comes by, and, and we say the Latino vote is going to be more important than ever. I think um, what's really different this year is that we're seeing increasing numbers of Latinos that may be, you know, may be voting Republican. Um, a lot of the Republican candidates are appealing to traditional family values that are very important to Latinos. Um, last week I went to a rally for Carly Fiorina in which um, it was set up kind of like an evangelical religious slash political rally, which was pretty fascinating. But they were really speaking to the Latinos that are supporting, you know, the pro-life movement and family values and uh, that are against gay marriage. And we may be surprised this year that more Latinos were Republican. Uh, well, I, w I would think that if, you know, you're appealing to values, you will go with the party whose values echo yours. That's right. I, I mean, and, and, you know, to, to play devil's advocate to, to that, that perspective, um, a lot of Latinos I spoke to, especially young Latinos, feel like every election they're kind of seen as like the token vote, you know, Latinos are going to care more about immigration this year, or Latinos are going to care more about uh, uh, family values, but the reality is that polls indicate that Latinos generally care about the same things that American-born voters do. They care about health care, they care about the economy, they care about jobs. So you can look at different polls and you could look at different uh, news reports and they're going to tell you something new well, every time. Well, you mentioned polls and some recent polls have suggested that Latinos may not go out to vote during these midterm elections in the same numbers as they did, let's say, in 2008. That's right. Well, typically, uh, uh, this is true for, for every part of the electorate. It's Midterm true. elections uh, don't motivate people as much to vote as a presidential election. But another thing that, that pollsters and, and pundits are finding interesting is that the, the controversial law that was passed in Arizona, SB 1070, which would make it um, okay for police to stop people and ask for, for documents, um, is really uh, dividing the Latino public between those who believe that not enough is being done to, to stop undocumented illegal immigration and the other side is arguing that more, you know, immigration reform needs to happen now and we're at a standstill and politicians are not doing enough about this. So this, this may also be dividing the Latino voting public. Well, you've been out reporting on this area now for a while and um, I'm wondering what Democrats and Republicans are doing to reach out to Latinos locally. According to the folks I spoke to, they're not doing enough. Um, one person uh, that I spoke to at UCSD put it as, you know, they think that just by going out on, on a bus and to a Latino labor, uh, neighborhood and eating a taco and saying a few words in Spanish will, will do enough. And, and I think there's this um, fear that uh, among the Latino electorate that, that the Latino vote is just really courted when it's time for an election and not enough is being done for the, for the Latino local communities, um, you know, when, when elections are not in place. Wow. So. Thank you very much, Roxandra. Thank you, Guidi. Gloria.